Hello and welcome back to Vanished with the Mega Mods. I want to have enough miners here. How many miners are they wanting? Fifteen! Okay. Oh no, I want to keep that all the way up. We'll put the industrial mine down just a little bit. Salt mine, we'll have to get someone going, I guess. Foresters. I bet we're not complete foresters. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna have to wait for people. <laughs> we could always kick some kids out of school, but they'll, they'll come to age soon enough. Our homes. 86 homes, 97 families, so we could do even more homes. And... Nice. We're starting to have too many jobs in the area. Yeah, that one's going way over there. Yeah, I think we might need a couple more homes here. Let's find something that will work in the area. A bow for seven people? Oh, that's crazy. Let's do it. <laughs> I haven't used that. We'll have a couple people there. Alright. Pottery shop. On to that. Oh, we can have it look different if we want to. So we need wood, brick, and roof tiles. Well, I'm not making anything, so we'll do that. And then we'll change it to brick. So that we can take care of that. Clay and firewood. Either one of those. So we have another place using firewood, huh? Firewood just fine there. Because I'd like to just get another I don't know, a couple stories or something there. We have only so much stuff around here and a little bit more of something to help fill out the place. Uh, not tons of jobs in this area, huh? That is kind of the, the other thing. You want to have a city, but you gotta have a whole bunch of jobs. Oof. Some of them are going far away. And they don't have the jobs here. <laughs> One of the things that is always quirky is by the time you get things in a city is you have a church and a cemetery and you'd be like, where am I going to put the tavern? You know, does it go across the street from the church? <laughs> Who knows? That, that would be the place I would think about putting it because that would be kind of a nicer looking place, but maybe over here somewhere. are nice, but don't really need those right now. So I'd like to get some nice large building. Those are the goes with the pine set. Coffee house which is large, but we don't need that. Brewery. Bunch of add ons to go with that. Bunch of little things. Oh, well, there's a distillery that's big, but not quite the thing I want. I think this is the red ketchup one. I like it, but not quite what I'm wanting. Might come back to it. Winery. grape or plum. don't have those, but it looks nice. Grapes and other fruit. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Grapes and other fruit. There's a one that looks more like a press. Pub kitchen. We do need this. And I think it will 
looks nice in a town. I don't know if it necessarily would be the great place to put it, but all right, the pig and hen is quite a great looking model, so I think I will just go with that. We got our abode over here. A little road going on. Okay, I'm just trying to make it look a little bit nicer. Trees, uh, town maple. I like the birch because they're generally not too big. Alright, oh, those poor people. They're gonna have to smell that maple syrup all day. Still, food still going up. I still have lots of stuff to still refine food with. Oh my gosh, I think I tried to start doing this last time. Did we still not get a town hall down? Like an actual real town hall? I mean, the classic is nice, but I'm just kind of like over the classic look of it. Uh, there's the Port Royal, which is nice. It's just too small. And that's the red ketchups. And two different roof types there. Town Arrival. Village. Nope. Itty Bitty. We don't want the Colonial. Well, you got Lighthouse, which is nice, but I'm looking for a Town Hall. I've used that one before in a different one. We definitely don't want the White House. Alright, so if we go into a different set, we can find even other things in some of this stuff. Some of it's the same, but like, that's a different one. Uh, that's a right country training, we don't want that. Colonial styles. We got Plymouth. Nice set if you're wanting like more rustic looking stuff. Modular woodcutter house. Okay, so I guess the woodcutter can go right next to it or something. So that you can have a house and a workstation right next to each other. That works pretty nice. We got these nice little multiple story homes. We got colorful homes. Ooh, build your own market stuff if you want to get really fancy. Oh, interesting. Is this just decorative? I gotta try it out. <laughs> I see it. It's just, it's pretty. Let's put a corn there and a cotton patch. Alright. That kind of fills in that area anyhow. Got westerns, wagons, old towns. Interesting. Well, that makes for some different kind of sets. Mansion for wealthy people. Darker color mansion. Okay, town services. See, other town halls. Not what I want, but it's other ones. Okay, that is... Totally. Wooden fort decoration. Wow. Okay. I have not gone through all of these apparently. 
because some of this stuff is so new still. I guess that's uh, the good thing about this, uh, that some of these things are still new going through them. Uh, some very familiar things and older things, so... Alright, town hall. Too small. Different colors. Got some of these nice big houses, just like similar to that one. Throw down a few of those. Education center. School. Oh nice. Oh well. That looks very different. Yeah, it's all I kinda wish that it could have been all in the same place, but it's not. There's a crafter's guild. Uh that's what I'm, that one I think it was very interesting that I had seen before. Garden. Ooh, a garden. Put that right next to the pick and hen. Herb healer, okay. Storage. Interesting. <laughs> Storage for food and alcohol. Okay. I don't think it'll go anywhere over there, but it's very interesting. That's school. Okay, that's a well, I think. Uh, houses. Got more. Different style houses. Fencing. These are the garden uh, greenhouses that are different even still that uh, I think are prob probably better than some of them. I don't know if they're better than the red ketchup one in terms of producing. Got some cabins. Ugh, an angled townhouse. I think that one is actually in the townhouses. Or in the town halls, rather. We got some dark castle y stuff if you felt like doing that kind of thing. Oh, wow. A butcher? That's kind of neat. We're wanting something small. Different candle maker. Oh, look at that one. That's a pretty nice model there. Small market. Okay. We do have that general store. Right. Yeah. I got three people in there and they can't keep enough stuff in there apparently. Uh oh, ugh. Where were we? <laughs> okay. A mine. Different looking mine stuff. The alchemy tower is interesting too if you want to... If you have some items you can change it into different ones. It makes things pretty different. Oh yes, the hostel. That one's a very nice looking one with the little green room thing in there. Breakfast nook. Pancake house. Well, you know, pancakes. Find a spot to stick something. Over. We got the pub kitchen. You know, let's give the pub kitchen some competition there. Got a different butcher. A rise and shine bakery. Watermill that's really small. Plaza. Plazas look pretty nice looking here. But they actually produce stuff too. So if I had the space and plan for it, that would have been nice to plan them right in between. I thought about planning maybe another 
graveyard there, but uh, I don't know. Let's stick the plaza there. That's in our B and B stuff. A maple grove. Ooh. Different kind of market, storage. I'm still not finding the town hall that I want. It's just too small. Oh, different color. Different color. And another color. Some of these work out really well for certain themes. If you want it to be foresty looking, or uh, you want there's westerny looking. Oh, I know. Hmm. So you make a whole wall <laughs> out of all these homes and stuff. Interesting signs. With signs if you want to get really detailed. A school. I like the colors of that. Hostel. Yeah. House. A smith and it's got flowers up on top of it. A miller. Oh, that one's a really nice looking mill there. I wonder if we could just stick one somewhere over here. That might help cut down on some of our, our rice and stuff going other places. We got some of our swampy stuff. Oh, it's kind of looking like I might not find kind of a Town hall that I would really prefer. It's just, it's just small. It's been nice looking, but small. I've got some nice colors in this set. Resources. Oh, pretties. A nut haven. Platform among walnut trees for easier picking. Huh. It just looks kind of nice in here. A rooster, a mill, baker, branch gather, 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 <laughs> potting shed. Okay, seedlings, alright. This is going to be pretty much the same thing, just different color. This has got the ruins. That's kind of neat. So you can have another corner building option. Abandoned church. If you want to make it thematic. Alright. That's an older style apiary, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, I like that one. Before I lose this. <laughs> Because the sets are kind of buried in places. I think I might want to stick it sure wherever I can. Put that guy over there. Alright. Medieval smokery, which is nice. The drying shack, if you ever want you got for fish, mushrooms, and a bunch of different things. I don't think we, do we have one of these? Be nice to put one over here. Oh, my building thing is kind of getting all full and stuff. We even got some holiday stuff, uh, castle stuff. All right. Well, hmm. These towers are also kind of nice if you want to stick those guys out. I did not find anything that I really preferred. So... We'll just go for a 
red ketchup on. Alright, now that we have all of these things to be built, we have laborers now to be able to work stuff, so this crafters guild is kind of like a dock workshop. It can do a whole lot of things, but a lot more than a dock workshop, obviously, but we can, it's a little bit of like everything. The sausage, I think, is what I would normally do, only because it's something that I think other butchers can't do. Uh, but it works really great if you want to build it and have them temporarily do specific things, because like obviously it can only go up to hardened tools and it's only a few kinds of coats and stuff, but there you go. Stick some in there, make it sausage. Here's our corner garden. I don't know what it, it has an inventory, but it's right next to the tavern. Our pick and hen. Oh wow. <laughs> they put a whole bunch of stuff in there already. So we can make a whole bunch of different things. We can make Al out of apples. Mead, which is different if you're making a whole bunch of honey. We already have pears being made. I think I'll just have them do that and it'll take them a while, which is okay. Because the apples are going to still take quite a while. Our oil press down here. We can do a whole bunch of oil, which I think can just be consumed in chili oil. But this is where we have to make the lamp oil. So, we got 2,000 of them. We'll go through it. It'll take them a while and then they'll just be out of it for who knows. Alright, pub kitchen. So, canteens, I think, are just something that you can sell. And they all say they're luxury things. And I think all these pub stuff can be different. Oh, scrambled eggs. So if you've got chickens and cows, that works out pretty good. May not be able to fix something exactly right now. We do not have potatoes. Uh, we don't have anyone in the salt mines yet. Chicken and honey. Uh, the only downside is you have to look through your, your stuff here and it's a little difficult. Boiled horse. Oh, poor thing. Pecan duck. Beef and mushrooms. I think that's about uh, what we could do that could actually do something. Yeah, there's that one seed thing that I bought. It must have been an edible thing. Mushroom soup? Mushrooms. Oh no. We really don't have a lot for that either. Do we have actually have potatoes? Because maybe uh, what I would need to do. I'll just stick someone in there. Okay. And then change someone over here. taken care of. The miller. There's your other mill. And we can do rice. Get a person there. Oh wow. Yeah, look at all that rice. <laughs> okay. Medieval drying shack. Beef, I guess. Do beef. So a whole bunch of our food is going to get stretched even farther. Not that we're needing it right now. We've gotten a, a few homes up, but we got more families. Uh, we have, we're just kind of waiting on filling people into certain positions, I think. We got all those 
blacksmith's taken care of. We, have, we need a, another baker. Beekeepers are okay. I think the brewer's okay. We need foresters, but... Mm. Fuel refiner? anyone on there. Because we need to have enough of that in order for them to refine the iron. We'll get too low on that. We got one position. That's okay. Apparently we got a couple potters. But workers. I'm missing workers. Creamery! So this is also one of the other nice buildings is that I could change the color if I felt like it. Uh, <laughs> it's just going to require all those materials. Yeah. Okay, well, we will see what we can kind of Think up next time. Oh, there's. He only wants ale. He only wants ale. No. All right. Good enough. Get those building supplies. So food's okay. Tools okay, and stuff. I guess. Either I just like keep coming up with more items to try to get things, get more seeds if I don't like it. Oh, field mushrooms. <gasps> I don't know if that's the same mushroom though. I don't think it's mushroom mushroom. Like field onions. I don't know. You know what? Let's, let's just do it <laughs> and see what comes about. Field mushrooms, dismiss that, and it's springtime. Oh, they just started, didn't they? Oh no. Uh, mushrooms, right? We'll see if that works. <laughs> if not, we'll have to catch that next year. Yeah. Our cows are already up. Awesome. That works out pretty good. Okay. We'll see how this keeps growing and, and developing and stuff and see what else we can put in here for our, our town. Thanks for watching and see you next time.